Good morning. Today I'm going to be talking about showcasing your work. Before I interview anybody, I like to see their CV and I like to see a portfolio. You most likely won't even make it through the door if you don't have a really great uh, portfolio. You need a good showcase of your work so that you can have potential employers or clients viewing what you're capable of doing. The proof, as they say, is in the pudding. So the first thing that I'd recommend is have a website. Websites don't have to be expensive, but I think if you're going to sell yourself as somebody who produces work online, you may as well put in the effort to actually have a great website. So you could get some hosting, buy a domain, and either in HTML do a website, use WordPress, or anything like that. Pretty simple, get your work on there. The next thing is you could go and get something like Squarespace. Squarespace is really affordable. You can still point a domain to that um, website uh, hosted by them. And so that's a really great solution to get your work there. Then there's other solutions like uh, Wix, which is a free um, web site uh, platform again hosted and if you really do start pushing out a lot of work and whatever you can i think you can upgrade to a, um, a paid solution the oldest community platform that i know of for designers is behance which was acquired by adobe behance has come a long way it used to just be a showcase that was filled with a lot of great illustrations and websites and things like that but now it's kind of doing a little bit of everything but the masters on behance are the guys who are putting together these fantastic portfolios and really showcasing their work probably better than most people have put in their personal portfolios like on a website I'd highly recommend that you use Behance. It's firstly a great way to be recognized in the industry. I would say whether you have a website or not, you should be using Behance to get the word out there, to link to other social profiles. And at a default, it's free and you should be on that platform. As a designer, it's not enough to simply go and put the work you've completed. If you think about working in in-house product teams, you generally won't even get the opportunity to finish a project in a couple of months, yet alone a year. So the best thing you can do is showcase some of your work in progress. And while that was the original reason why they built the platform, which was to share the work that you were doing, it's now become one of the best platforms to actually showcase both in progress and finished uh, creative work. So use Dribble, and that way you can actually share your your work. For anybody who wants an invite, if they're a prospect and they want an invite, uh, find me on Dribble, uh, hit me up, show me some of your work, and I, if I like what I see and if I believe that you've got something to offer, then hey. Uh, I've got a few invites uh, that I can bring you on board. Something I've been subscribing a lot to lately are different feeds and profiles on Instagram. Instagram's a great little showcase for your work. I do think that some of the stuff that's there is possibly a little you know, most of it's concept work, not a lot of it is like real world production stuff, but it's still great to, to look at and very inspiring. And the truth is, uh, these guys that are getting hired just for their concept work. Um, so I would encourage you to put your work on there and, you know, either, you know, do a time lapse 
or something like that. I, think, I can't remember what they call it. It's like speed, speed designing, speed something. But they feel, they form like the full process of how they put together a web page and, and things like that. And I think it's beautiful to watch. And I think if you do it really well, Instagram can be a great platform for sharing your work. Then another great platform is Medium. Well, typically a blogging platform, um, I think given how it's used by people in the industry, I would encourage you to always post your work. So even if you put your work on Behance and Instagram during the pro, pro, um, progress phase, and even if you put it on your website, I would encourage you to write an article about your work and put it on um, Medium. Then this channel, YouTube, has to be one of the smartest ways to start talking about the work you do and really positioning yourself. But that doesn't exclude actually putting the work. And I think that if you film some of the work, the websites that you produce, um, you know, you could really set yourself apart because if people can understand your thinking, they are going to be more likely to want to engage with you because they'll understand your process, they'll understand how you solve problems and what you contribute to, to a project. It kind of becomes a little obvious when uh, you'll see how passionate people get when they talk about something that they were intrinsically involved with. And then finally, as an extension to probably something like your website and Behance, is to actually go and use Pinterest as a way of sharing your work and showcasing your work. Um, you can create these kind of long JPEGs of you know, your projects and people love that. I have just so many different website breakdowns and things like that that are showcased through Pinterest and I collect them all. So every time I see a website that might inspire me one day, I used to actually collect all these things and put it in a folder, but finding it on, on the drive is, is always a mission. You end up having to scroll through hundreds of images before you ever find it. But going into Pinterest, looking at your board, it's a great way to be inspired by others and a great way for you to share your work and at the same time, inspire other people. So yeah, I, you know, I hear a lot of excuses um, a lot of people come to me and they go, oh, I haven't updated my portfolio, I haven't, whatever. I'm guilty of it too right now. I haven't for a while. I, I've, never, I've not felt much of a need. It's not like anybody said to me, hey, Craig, can we see your portfolio? Um, most people would know me by reputation. I think I've been around long enough that people understand what I do. And also the role that I play now is very different. But as a designer, whether you be a student or whether you be a seasoned professional you really do need to have an outstanding portfolio and I would really encourage you to go ahead and craft it. I pretty much use all of those channels with the exception right now of possibly Instagram but I use most of those channels as a way to share my work. I just need to update my portfolio but I've always had one from the beginning of my career until now and I'll probably this year put up a new portfolio and really try and capture a lot of my old work that is currently in these tiny little 600 pixel width uh, layouts. I'll probably start screening a lot more and try and share that. In fact, I was a flash guy and I'm quite excited to go through all of my flash work again and start recording some of those websites because I don't know how long the flash player is still going to exist. So I think recording all of those um, flash websites that I did and putting them in my portfolio will give people a really rich experience. And a lot of the old flash work, it was vector based and actually quite flat and quite in line with where trends are now. And I think it could be a great way to showcase work. So if you have any suggestions on better ways or, or more ways that you can showcase your work, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, 
and stay cool. Mm-hmm.